So, uh, my neighbors are definitely watching me film this. That's fun. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jeff. I hope you're doing well. I had my total laparoscopic hysterectomy and oophorectomy on August 18th, 2016, which means that I am now two months post-op. That feels really weird for me to say, because on one hand, it feels like it happened just yesterday, and on the other, it feels like it happened like years ago, but <laughs> hey, time is an illusion, so this is what I'm working with right now. You can't really see the incisions, and the hair on my stomach is definitely starting to fill in again. Here's a comparison shot of what my stomach used to look like before the surgery compared to what it looks like now, two months post-op. So the recommended time off is four to six weeks and my surgeon decided to go with six weeks for me because my internal healing was going to take a little bit longer than say a cis female who still had a lot of estrogen in their body. So at six weeks, I was cleared to go back to work, which was really great for me to finally, you know, get back into a routine. But I do have kind of an office type job with more computer work. So I'm not lifting a lot of things. I'm not doing strenuous activity. So that's why my surgeon cleared me back to work and he felt comfortable with that because when he did check me, there's still healing that's happening right now, which is why I'm not supposed to be running or doing a lot of weightlifting for still another two weeks. Running or doing squats or doing anything that causes a lot of pressure down in that area would really affect the healing that is happening. And I don't want to screw that up, so I'm going to listen to my doctor on that. Things that I've noticed even past my two weeks mark, I made a video all about my recovery process up to two weeks. It's linked up there if you want to check it out. The hair on my body is definitely starting to fill in a little thicker. Like, this is really awkward to try and show you. The hair down here and on my chin is definitely starting to fill in a little bit more. My stomach hair is coming back faster than I thought it would, which is really cool to see. I don't know if this is like a placebo effect for me where I'm just like, well, there's no estrogen in my body, so clearly my beard is coming in more. <laughs> I don't know. I could be lying to myself. My acne is starting to act up a bit more. <sighs> That's fun to deal with again. <laughs> Sleeping is starting to be a little bit off for me. Like I'm waking up at three o'clock in the morning every day or nearly every day. And that's been really weird. Just on the dot, I'm up. I look at my phone and then I go back to sleep. I can't tell if that's because of my hormonal changes or also things have been a little bit stressful for me at my job. So the combination of those two things have definitely impacted me. My energy level is still a bit lower. Just, I get tired a bit more easily than previously. But all in all, I'm doing really well. I'm able to do pretty much everything that I did pre-surgery now, except for running or weightlifting or just doing a lot of strenuous activities. Things have been good. I've been able to play with Aspen, which has been really great for me to be able to just spend some time with him and still feel like my life is, you know, back to normal because it basically is. People keep asking me questions about how I feel about the surgery. And to be honest, I, I'm indifferent, I guess. With top surgery, it was more celebratory because I could see the change, I could see the difference, and that was something that I had been wanting for a really long time. With this surgery, I can't really see the difference. And it was more, this is the next step for me in my journey. It was just something that I needed to do. And now that I've done it, I'm good. I'm free to move on. I don't regret having the surgery. I don't regret anything that I've done to get to this point. It's helped make me who I am and I'm okay with that. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe if you're feeling it, but <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. And as always, you are valid. You are loved. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again next time. Over here you can check out last week's video. It's my own acoustic spin on Closer, and I'm really proud of it. So you can check it out over there, and I will see you again next Monday.